What's up guys? Ashley here and I am back to show y'all a little baby ball python update. Alright, so all of these guys have shed and eaten now. So this is one that I'm going to be keeping. This is a little cinnamon banana. He's super cute. And uh, he's got this adorable little like paradox speckling already on his tail. And he is awesome. Alright. These are my calico bananas. They are, or, yeah, just calico bananas. Um, they are freaking amazing. This little one is probably the one that I'm going to end up keeping just because I love how pale he is and all that. But this one is super killer too. So I might hang on to both of them for a little while just to see how they, uh, they color up. Um, and yes, I do have two per bin right now. We just finished moving all of the racks and the caging over to the new place. And uh, I am still moving all my bowls and all that kind of stuff in here. But they're in here. They got water, all that kind of good stuff for now. But uh, I really like this one. These two little ones are my champagnes. We have a banana champagne who is freaking gorgeous. And I've been told that this one's also a banana champagne. And it's got a little bit of a ringer spot on it as well, which is apparently a tell for the banana. But I'm not sure. I gotta ask a couple buddies who breed more ball pythons than what I do. But both of these are super gorgeous. I love them. Look at this little attitude. In this one we have a banana spider, which is the little purpley blue one, and then a regular spider. Um, spiders do tend to have like some wobble issues and stuff. Oh, you peed! Um, so you might notice he makes a little bit of a weird head bobble. It's common with spiders because of the unfortunate fact that people inbred them a lot when spider gene first came out. Um, these little guys are eating great though. Um, so that little bit of wobble doesn't really affect them. Um, but this one is super pretty. I really like this little cinnamon, or not cinnamon, banana spider. Hello! And over here we have a couple more bananas. Um, these are the ones that came from my phantom female. And I'm thinking these are both phantom bananas, but again, I need to double check. I've had friends tell me that the, uh, the darker ones are the phantom bananas and the lighter ones are not. Um, y'all will see a couple more of these in the next bin, and uh, y'all tell me what you think. They are super cute. I'm hoping one of these bananas is a female. I'm not sure if my male banana is a female maker or not, but we are going to find out. And here are their other siblings. Like you can see, like this one's got like super bold pattern. This one's a little bit more purpley, deep colored, I guess. Um, but again, like I said, I need to consult with some friends who do more ball pythons than what I do. But these guys are super clean, super beautiful as well. And these guys are just normal. So <laughs> the standard ball python that most people see. Just little normals. Um, I don't think they're calico or anything like that. I mean, they've got pretty coloration. This one's pretty dark. But uh, I don't know if that's actually a calico with that little bit of blushing or if it's just a super pretty normal. We're going to go ahead and throw this little girl in for giggles. This is a uh, albino genetic stripe reticulated python. These are the little guys that get huge. And uh, she's available as well. So if you're interested in any of these little babies or anything, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Facebook at Pi Reptiles or Instagram at the same. And uh, I will keep y'all updated on these. And I'm going to make a video here in the next day or so as we get everybody out and uh, settled into their cages. Just so you can see the different kinds of snakes that we have, um, how big my big girl is. Well, she's only about 16 feet, but at least let y'all see good sized female one of these little guys. Alright guys, we will see y'all in the next one. And y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving.